The great state of Florida's Attorney General Jimmy Petronas is back at it again. Hurricane Debbie makes landfall across uh, Southwest Florida and North Florida and new orders that if you're a Florida public adjuster, you better keep an eye out for. And let's get right into it now in three, in two, in one. What's up, advocates? My name is Vince Perry, and welcome to the Commercial Claim Show, and I am so excited about the topic that we have for you today. I am your host, Vince Perry, uh, president of Elite Resolutions and the Commercial Claims Advocate, where we are here to train you, to train you and help you transform your career and hopefully even your life as well with giving you all kinds of tips and tricks and things you need to know in the public adjusting sphere to really get going. And I want to get into a couple of things. Before I get into the Jimmy Petronas thing, I do want to get into one thing first, and that is get ready public adjuster success formula is basically coming out like right now right now as we speak if you're not a part of our email list you might have missed this webinar that's going on like right now as we speak you're going to want to get this webinar because i'm teaching you three of the most important things in your operations to make sure that you're success but we're also launching a public adjuster success formula course that's coming out that's like it's gonna it's four modules a bunch of lessons uh templates letter templates sop templates uh, an, a new workbook that's going to be coming out only to the people who are part of the course some special bonuses that are just like irresistible so you got to get on make sure you click the link be below and get your limited access because it's only open for a couple of days hopefully by the time you watch this video it isn't closed already but if you're watching it now the week that it comes out click on the link below because it's only open for a few days all right, so the first thing is obviously Hurricane Debbie hit Florida here just a few days ago and made landfall. Now, the wind speeds weren't crazy, and it definitely, where it really made intense landfall was up at, in the Big Bend in the armpit of Florida, which there's really not a lot of structures going on there. It's a lot of land, um, but obviously there is structures as well. Made landfall as a hurricane category one, uh, so obviously some destruction, but nothing like an actual major hurricane where it goes to category three, four, and five. I will say, though, that uh, in like the Sarasota, Southwest Florida area, we definitely got a lot of floods, a lot of rising water, tide came in, and there's definitely a lot of flood damage that came about. As a result of this, as the storm was occurring, there was a state of emergency on the entire state of Florida or all in these areas, which makes things a little bit different for us, right? As a public adjuster, once a state of emergency uh, is announced uh, for a hurricane that's coming, right off the bat, we are capped at 10%, where in Florida, normally we're capped at 20%, and the majority of claim representation is anywhere between 10 and 20%, a lot of times 20%. When a hurricane and a state of emergency does come about, it is capped at 10. So in case you didn't know that, it's capped at 10%. Uh, with that said, there was a couple orders that were put out as a result of this storm. Now, a lot of times as public adjusters, we get defensive and we do feel that sometimes there is an attack on us. And I'm going to show you actual quotes, but you know, when they put these caps after a hurricane or when I tell you about the orders that they put in, it, you kind of make it feel like, you know, what are they trying to do? But that's okay. What I'm here to do is just to educate you and let you know what those orders are. And what those orders were, if you're a public adjuster in Florida, make sure that you update your, your LORs, your letters of representation, to show that the insured now has 30 days to cancel. But now it's 30 days to cancel from the normal 10 days to cancel. That's right. If you're out of Florida and you're like 10 days to cancel, it's normally three. Yes, normal contract is three days to cancel a contract. Well, guess what? For public adjusters only in the state of Florida, any insured, any homeowner that signs a contract with you has 10 days uh, right of rescission to basically back out of the contract. Instead, however, as a result of this storm, the attorney general came out and said that 10 days is now 30 days. But here's the catch. It's only for the first 60 days, okay? For the first 60 days from the date of loss of Hurricane Debbie, you have to change your contract to show that it's 30 days. Also, for those of you that are signing a flood claim, understand, remember that FEMA does require a couple of extra things on the contract or on the letter of representation to make it illegible and eligible a flood contract. So if you have any questions about that, please reach out to me, send me a message. I'll be glad to help you. FAPIA, shout out to Nancy Dominguez and FAPIA, very good with providing our public adjusters with this kind of information and templates and stuff like that. So you could also, uh, more than likely, I'm saying this without asking, but you could probably reach out to FAPIA. They could help as well, but so can we. Um, so 30 days to cancel the contract. So please keep that in mind. You must show that 
uh, in your contract, 30 days to cancel. The next thing that's the order that came out that is required, public adjusters, is now uh, for this particular storm, you must respond and keep the update, keep the homeowner updated every seven days. So if they come back and they ask you, you have to show proof that you had some kind of update, some kind of communication with your homeowner uh, at least every seven days. Anybody that has uh, purchased this book, anybody that's taken any of our courses, any of my courses here at Commercial Claims Advocate will know that it is part of our processes at Elite Resolutions to follow up with the client every seven days, to follow up with the claim every seven days. So if you're doing your job, this shouldn't be a problem for you either. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing is you must show license and identification before getting your contract signed. Obviously, you're giving a business card which should have your license number on it. Once you're getting the contract signed, I would like to believe that you've already built the rapport for that person to even trust you to sign the contract and they will be okay with knowing that you are a licensed public adjuster. So the orders aren't too big a deal. The 30 days does kind of stink. I mean, that's a long time because I will keep you in mind of one last thing. You have They have 30 days to cancel and by the way, you have 60 days to provide a proof of loss on these storms. So make sure on the flood claims in particular, the flood claims you have 60 days to provide the insurance company with a proof of loss. What is a proof of loss? It is a special document that you have to fill out that basically breaks down how much dollar amount you're claiming on that claim. And that document normally has to be signed and notarized. Is the document considered a proof of loss? Is providing your estimate a proof of loss. Sometimes those lines do get a little bit blurred, uh, but to be safe, just get the proof of loss document. You could probably f Google search find online. Again, you can send me a message. I'll be glad to provide it to you. Get that filled out. Get that dollar amount in there. That has to make a complete dollar amount. Get it signed and notarized and get it submitted within 60 days. So that's really all that we have. 30 days to cancel uh, is just something that I want you guys to keep in mind. So before I get into Jimmy Petronas, again, I just want to remind you of the public adjuster success formula. I put a lot of time into this thing, and that's why I'm reminding you. There's a webinar going on right now, and by the end of the week here, we will be closing registration for the public adjuster success formula course. Four modules, a bunch of lessons on really how to stay organized, keep your calendar tight, and really just gain financial freedom. Not just financial freedom, but freedom of time. My goal is for you to be a successful public adjuster and also have the time to travel, have the time to be with your family and have the time to just do what you want. Uh, and that's what this course is all about. I'm pretty excited about it. I feel that I've been very successful in being able to manage both. And I'm going to give you all my, all my things that I've done that I've implemented over the last 15 years to do so. Are you struggling to find a place for your clients to stay after a catastrophic loss like a fire or mold or anything really severe and they have no place to stay and you don't really know what to do because that's not your line of work? You need to call Tyler at Ready Stays. They're like the number one ALE company. They've got properties all over the country and they can match your client with a property of like kind of quality within 24 to 48 hours. Make sure you call my good friend Tyler at Ready Stays and get your client a place to stay with whatever accommodations that they need, call Tyler at Ready Stays today. Guys, this is Vince Perry again, the Commercial Claims Advocate. I really hope that you're enjoying this content so far because wait until you see what happens next. Stay tuned. So Jimmy Petronas, Jimmy, 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 I posted on Instagram what you said and, and I think it went viral. I don't know what viral means, but definitely got a lot more likes and shares and comments than I think anything I've ever posted on Instagram before. So, you know, I just don't understand. Okay. We're all human beings and we're not here on a fight. I always tell people, I think everybody understands that public adjusters wouldn't exist if quite frankly, the insurance company paid. Um, now look like any other business. Okay. There's bad there's bad actors out there, but I could probably say the same thing for politicians, can't I? Not you in particular, Jimmy Petronas, but just in general. So you guys continuously come out and say negative things about people that go out to homes after a storm. Uh, I think it's important to mention that at the same time, at the heart of what public adjusters, uh, what public adjusters do is advocacy, pure and simple. We're here to stand up for the homeowner, to be the voice that they, that they need when they need it most. But we're also trying to feed our family. We're also trying to, 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 
to put food on the table because at the end of the day, it is a business that we're running. I always say public adjusters are entrepreneurs, whether you work for yourself or whether you work for a public adjusting firm. And if we already know there's going to be insurance claims after a storm, um, not only should we be allowed to offer our services to people who have just suffered damage after a storm, but we should not have to deal with approaching a homeowner and saying, oh, yeah, I heard about you guys. You guys are predators. Uh, what else? You guys are, are locusts. You know, you guys are bad actors. Just some of the things that Jimmy Petronas has said publicly about public adjusters and contractors too that are going out after a storm. And like I said, I, I don't think that's fair uh, because 15 years I've been doing this. It has created wealth for my family. Um, and it's created a living that I really pride myself in and I truly, truly enjoy because as I said earlier, at the heart of this is advocacy. It's not just about, it's not just about money. It's not just about paperwork. It's not just about claims. It's really about putting people's lives back together. You know, we fight for the little person. We make sure to get the support and the compensation that they deserve. It's not about the money. If it was about the money, I'm telling you, any public adjuster that is doing this for the money does not last longer than six months. They're gone pretty quickly because the insurance companies don't pay very easily. I'll keep going into my rant and I'm going to show you the quote. Quote Jimmy Petrona says, following any disaster, fly-by-night contractors and so-called claims representatives, so-called, you're talking about public adjusters, will swoop into a storm-impacted area and try to come between you and your insurance policy. Most of the time, these bad actors give legitimate adjusters and contractors a bad name and are only in it to make a quick buck off of vulnerable Floridians. It's truly despicable. Uh, first, let's go back to the fact that he tries to backtrack his, these bad actors give legitimate adjusters. I really don't like him saying the so-called claims representatives. We, by the way, public adjusters, licensed public adjusters, do the exact same continuing education and state examination that any other insurance company adjuster does. You want to know the difference is that your insurance claim policyholder is ultimately being decided upon somebody sitting in a cubicle in front of a computer looking at the photos of an independent of someone else that went out there to do the inspection. I can tell you from experience, when I try to work claims from the desk of a property that I've never been to, it becomes very difficult and it's a very different experience and it's much harder to truly evaluate a claim unless you've actually been there. And I can tell you the majority of public adjusting firms and the majority of public adjusters, those that go out to inspect a property also adjust your claim. So we're, it's, it's, it's just brutal, some of the things that he says. I want to remind you also that after Hurricane Ian, I'm reading this now, says, Petronas advised people who have suffered damage to their home that the first phone call for people to make needs to be to your agent, your carrier, to my office. I'm not disagreeing, to his office is ridiculous, but I'm not disagreeing it shouldn't be to the insurance company, especially if there's significant loss like that. Yes, you probably want to call the insurance. You want to call the insurance company fast, but I still would call the public adjuster first for other losses that you're just not sure. You just want to get a good, honest opinion from someone who's literally looking out for your best interest. Anyway, I keep going. Quote: The predators that are going to come up, they're going to come in like a bunch of locusts, and they're going to try to hit the neighborhoods. And people are vulnerable right now. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. This is the type of stuff. Here's my rant that I don't want to keep going that I'd like to put an end on is Jimmy Petronas. I'm speaking to you. Two things that I would like from you. Number one, I'd love for you to come to one of our events so that you could actually meet public adjusters. I talk to new public adjusters on a daily basis. They're always hitting me messages, asking me questions. And I will tell you, and the events that we have, you normally involve several hundred people have found a purpose in their life to give back and along with it give back not just give back to people but also to make a living while doing so it's a great it's a great balance of giving back and also being able to afford to put money 
uh, afford to put food on your family's table. And you should meet some of these people, the good, kind-hearted, genuinely great people in this industry. So I invite you to come to one of our one of our events. And I'd also, Jimmy Petronas, would like to invite you on the podcast. I'd love to have you on. I'd love to have a civilized conversation with you. It doesn't have to be a debate, but I think what's happening is we are two people you and I, looking at things from two different perspectives. I'd like to know your perspective, and I'd like for you to actually listen to my perspective, to our perspective, the public adjuster's perspective on what we go through on a daily basis just to try to get a simple dollar for our insurance clients, for our for our insureds, and not just a simple dollar, just to try to put a home back to their pre-loss condition. So I'd like to invite you on the podcast. I think that would be pretty cool. And that's it. Honestly, um, I wanted to just... Give a shout out to make sure we're keeping public adjusters informed on what's going on, keeping the policyholders informed as well. And I just wanted to just give a shout out to Jimmy Petronas on stop. Just stop bashing people who are going out after a storm just to honestly try to make a living and at the same time do what they know is right, which is put a claims package together for a homeowner. It's a service that we provide. Go out there to provide our service of putting a claim package together and presenting a claim to the insurance company to negotiate on a homeowner's behalf on, like you said, is very vulnerable right now, very busy trying to put their lives back together. Why not hire somebody to handle the claim for them? Because the insurance company normally, unfortunately, does not. And the last thing I want to add is one more reminder. The public adjuster success formula is out. Webinar is going on right now. We're opening cart here and you could only purchase this uh, four-week course that we're providing for a limited time. The modules you will have access to for the life of the modules, but it's a four-week course where you're going to get to go through it little by little and be live with me every single week to go over each module and how to ultimately really take your game, take your business to the next level. So that's what we got here, guys. Thank you so much for watching again this week. Go ahead, click the link below, sign up for the Public Adjuster Success Formula. I promise you will not be disappointed, guys. See you later. Peace out. Well, I hope you learned a lot of that show. There is so much in store for you in this channel. If you just fall into that rabbit hole, we've been doing this for four years. Click on one of these links here in front of you and see how much more you can learn on the Commercial Claim Show.